work 50 hours a week, but it never seems like that because when I'm here, it's, it's not really so much as work as it is being around people you actually care about and you like. And you, when you care about the company, I mean, that's all that really matters, especially when the company shows appreciation back. I find it fun and interesting and I like the best base atmosphere. We try to do the best job you can and you see more work coming in the door, that's obviously a, a plus, so that means we're doing something right. We just all get along and uh, if they need help inserting, I'll help them out and uh, if I need someone to hold a flashlight for me or help me pull a conveyor belt on, they'll, they'll help me. I think that the people here are great, they're like my second family. Um, we all get along really well. My favorite part of the job is definitely interacting with my colleagues here at the Daily Gazette. Everyone is hospitable, willing to help in any way they can, and I feel as though I'm part of a team. The Daily Gazette every day, you know, gets really, really busy, um, and when we get into crunch time and stuff like that, we really come together as a team um, to make sure that the newspaper is successful. It's just really the people that work here. Um, you know, you, I don't really find myself waking up in the morning and dreading coming to work. Being from this area and growing up and reading this paper every day and now, you know, being being a part of the website here and, you know, writing the headlines and interacting with, you know, some of the people that I used to read bylines for when I was in high school. It's always exciting, always fun. Like I can't think of a single time in my 22 years here where I've ever been bored. So to be able to do something new and fun and interesting every day is my favorite part of the job. Every time I wake up in the morning, my paper is on the driveway. I feel like I've been rewarded. It's a miracle. It comes out and that's the joy of working in daily newspapers. It takes so much to put out a daily newspaper. Obviously it's rewarding to have people just reading your work in general, um, sharing it online, but we've also had people um, cut out the print editions and like frame them. Um, you know, they send us photos of the, uh, the front page stories in their homes or something like that. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Just knowing that we have uh, revenue goals that we have to achieve each and every week, each and every month, and each and every year. And it's so exhilarating to achieve those goals. It actually feels like we're hitting a home run or it feels like we're scoring a touchdown and we're really making things happen. We're winning the game when we hit that revenue goal. When I could provide my customers a different tool other than the truth, traditional advertising such as using digital or online marketing to find a better pool of uh, qualified candidates. Learning about the issues that affect uh, people who live in the capital re region and writing about them and hopefully provoking some conversation. Doing the research. I mean it's the kind of job that gives you the opportunity to actually spend your time doing research so that you can develop an understanding of a complex problem uh, I mean, I actually get paid to do it. I mean, most readers don't have a chance to delve into something in depth on their own. My job is to understand it to the point where it can be explained simply to people. All of the interesting people that I get to meet and talk to. I cover education in schools. So I spend time meeting teachers and educators, and uh, you know, mostly the students are really the ones who have the most impressive stories to tell. It is nice to actually have, you know, you get a physical copy of something um, that you're actually producing. Just making sure that someone is there to, to make sure that the community is informed. Back when I was in high school, the first time I saw my byline in print, I just about fainted, and a little bit of that feeling just never quite gone away.